Hi, I'm Maha Salah from Middle East Monitor, and today I'll be showing you how to make bagilla biddihan. Continuing with our breakfast series, we have another delicious offering from Iraq today, bagilla biddihan, which translates literally to beans and fat. This definitely sounded intimidating to me, especially because I'm not usually a fan of fatty breakfasts or ghee, but I was pleasantly surprised by how delicious this is. In the Middle East, weekend breakfasts are usually served family style and are more like feasts than just your regular breakfasts. People find it funny that I don't usually eat breakfast, but also love breakfast spreads. I blame this on my Middle Easternness. It's either all or nothing with me. The Iraqis definitely know what they're doing in the kitchen, especially when it comes to breakfast. Like many Iraqi dishes, this has a special ingredient unique to Iraqi cuisine, an herb known as butnij, or betani in English. It's part of the mint family, although it doesn't taste like fresh or dried mint. It has an earthier and slightly bitter taste that adds such a delicious touch to this dish, unlike anything I've tasted before. You could substitute with dried mint in a pinch, but it's definitely worth trying to find it at your local Middle Eastern store or online. The ingredients are pretty simple, but for the best result, it's important to get the correct ones. For the fava beans, the bigger the beans, the better, as they will remain intact when cooking. As for the bread, it's best if you can find Iraqi bread known as tannur, traditionally made in a clay oven. But if this is not available, then a flat bread like naan or tabun bread would be a good substitute. As for the eggs, some people like to scramble them and others like to cook them almost like an omelet. I prefer the latter, but this is up to personal choice, as is the way the plate is assembled, with some preferring the eggs over the beans and others the beans over the eggs. In terms of taste, it doesn't really matter, but I find like many Middle Eastern recipes, people are passionate about it being just the way they had it when growing up. However you decide to stack it, the odds are stacked in favor of you loving this unique and tasty dish.